What's up, everybody? Phil the Kaiju King here and from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. In this video, I'm doing a video on this awesome thing I got actually last weekend, and I'm just now getting around to the video here on a March 27th, Sunday. It is a 30 centimeter scale Kong 2021 holding the battle axe from the awesome film Godzilla vs. Kong last year. It came out about a year ago, actually year ago a little over it's pretty awesome thing here um 30 centimeters to the top of the head roughly of course you got three or four more inches here up to the axe so of course this depicts the scene in the film where kong discovers and finds the hollow earth discovers his origins um finds the axe and holds it up and triumph and triumph um, over his head and beats his chest and then this is what this kind of comes from this whole idea and sculpt I want to thank Mark Sing Yang for this thing he's the one that created it I gave him the idea he's the one that built it created it um, it's pretty awesome my next uh, item that we'll be doing will also be a 21 Kong so uh, that's about all I'm going to say about it for now but it's going to be pretty cool I think this one, of course, pretty neat. Of course, you got to love UPS shipping. The axe was bent over when I got it. They damaged it, of course. He had it packed really pretty well, but you know how they are. So I noticed it, was, it wasn't it was really broken off. It, it was kind of, there's a, he said there's an aluminum pipe, little aluminum pipe in there. That is the body of, the, or the actual part of the axe, the uh, handle. So I just, Bended it back and put some super glue on it and let it set overnight. And it's, it, you can hardly really tell. Other than my paint, my brown uh, paint marker I use is a little off color there where it happened, but it's not really that noticeable. But it's pretty cool. I love this movie. I know Kong got his butt whipped and I'm a Kong person. So, and I can openly admit that and easily admit that because that's what <laughs> happened. He, he did not come close to winning any of the two fights in the film in my opinion he was put in his place by Godzilla and that's fine I have no problem with that um, it is what it is but I still enjoyed the movie very much it's a great movie had some great fighting between the two um, really cool stuff really really neat this figure it's done fairly well pretty good like nice capture of Kong here got some nice thick legs on the front back very nice looking nice the fur looks heavier and deeper because he's his fur was in the movie he was older um by about what 47 years or something like that so 47 48 years something right around in there so um of course his, his fur should be longer and, and shaggier and thicker and that's what it portrays on his you know his legs his feet are nicely captured all five of his appendages on his feet, his toe, toes and stuff. It's pretty neat. Um, nice definition all on his back here. Looks pretty muscular. Nice, nice capture there. It's pretty cool. Um, the fur on the body, of course, all over is nicely sculpted, in my opinion. Nice job by Mark on this thing. It looks pretty good. His left hand is right here above his chest, right before he clutches to pound his chest. That's kind of what I wanted um, fingers are wide open five fingers there of course nice fur sculpting on the arm there nice thick definition of the arm the arm and the, the arms and the chest look really definition really nicely done really muscular his abdomen and everything and you got the three scratches across his chest the scars from his previous battles on Skull Island I'm guessing with the uh, skull crawler that there's a nice capture of the scars on his chest of course his right hand is holding up the axe and, vic and triumphant victory, <laughs> um, claiming his birthright, in my opinion, in the movie. Um, nice sculpting again of the fur and the, on the arm, and then clutching the axe here. The axe is, uh, actually looks, in the movie, it looked like a bone to me, a bone, leg bone or something maybe, and then it's got nice straps around it there, kind of holding it on, looks like. And then, of course, it looks like a Godzilla dorsal plate um, painted the uh, 
light blue. It's pretty cool. Kong's face and head look really nice. Nice capture of his face and head and everything. Looks pretty cool there, I think. Nicely done. Roaring, wide, wide open, roaring mouth. Pink or pinkish red on the inside. Teeth, nicely done. Uh, nice roaring, wide open mouth. It's like in the film when he, he, he claimed the axe. Pretty cool. Nice uh, eyebrow ridge, nice eyes and everything. Nice, nice, nicely done here on this, here Kong. I'm really happy with the result of it. Can't wait to, when we finally get around to, uh, our next project will be pretty, pretty unique as well, like this is. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'll do a few different comparisons here, and let's move on to that now. All right, everybody, I'm back, and here is my X Plus Kong 2017 version 1 Deluxe Edition beside my custom Kong 2021 with Battle Axe. As you can see, custom is a very bit taller. He's standing on chest to chest, about an inch, inch and a half taller, so he is a big boy for sure. Because this X Plus Kong fares, scales up well to any X Plus Godzilla figure for sure. All right, let's move on to another comparison. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back, and here is the 62 Love. Got Godzilla vs. Kong 21, along with the Godzilla vs. King Kong 1962 by Toho. Got my X Plus original 30 centimeter Godzilla 62. My custom 62 Kong, maybe also by Mark Sing Yang, alongside my new 2021 Kong. Not too bad. Pretty awesome. I, I do say so myself. All right, let's do another comparison. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Here is a special sculpt I had done for 20 Kong Skull Island. Kong fighting the uh, Ramorak, the giant skull crawler. And then uh, uh, King Kong 1976, right there. Brought some different iterations of Kong along the way here. I've got uh, just about every iteration of Kong you can imagine in my collection. All right, let's move on to one final size comparison here, and let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back, and here's my final comparison. Uh, of course, we got to have some legendary Goji in here with this thing. This is uh, the X-Plus 2014 Deluxe Edition Roaring Version Blue Fin Godzilla, and then 2019-25 centimeter. And uh, I was kind of hoping I would have had to be uh, 2021, 25 centimeter, but... Got an email this week saying it was pushed from March to uh, April release. So uh, that's kind of, I wanted to see it up against this guy. Pretty awesome though, nonetheless. All right, everybody. Let's move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. 30 centimeter King Kong or Kong 2021 with Battle Axe. It's a pretty neat thing, pretty awesome. Glad I decided to do this. Thank you again, Mark Sing Yang, for this thing. It's pretty awesome. I can't wait for us to venture down our road again here in a month or two. Hopefully, with uh, the next project, it'll be pretty sweet, I think. This is pretty a nice capture of uh, one of the scenes from the movie. It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, I'll bring that camera closer for a quick look. I want to thank everybody that tunes into my channel here. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.